What's pop? Guess what? We hit one, two, three, four, five K, baby, let's get it. Five K. Yo, yo, I can remember when I, I was happy I had 10 subscribers and I was looking at it like, dang bro, I'm talking to 10 people. That's how I look at it. Like, I'm, I'm talking to 10 people. You feel I me? Mean? Like I don't look at it like it's just a number. Like I'm talking to 10 people. Yo, I'm talking to 5,000 people. 5,000 plus people. I ain't gonna hold y'all up too much cause you know, y'all just watch me get ready, y'all watch me wake up. Today we are gonna be talking about, I got five tips for you to be successful in the Navy, period. So number one, is your uniform. You wear a uniform every day to work, right? So you need to make sure that your uniform, bro, iron it, make sure it's clean, you know? If you gotta go to the dry cleaners, take it to the dry cleaners. It ain't that hard, you know what I'm saying? So for example, like, which end up you use? Make sure your collar is crispy. You feel me? Get some starch, spray the collar, boom, 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 crisp it, crisp it up. Like, hey, it's running flat, you know what I'm saying? And that's really all you gotta do for the end ups because, you know, it's end ups, like, they ain't going, it's not too many places you put creases in. Like, if, let's say you wear coveralls, yo, take some initiative, iron your coveralls. Don't walk around here looking all crazy and stuff. I understand you got work to do, but at the same time, this, this, is how you look like. Iron your stuff, all right? And it goes for everything. If you're wearing uh, NSUs, wear some shirt stays. Have you, don't be having a little muffin muffin top, whatever thing, on your shirt, man. Make, wear some shirt stays or something. You dress blues, dress whites, iron. Don't be walking around looking crazy, you know what I'm saying? Iron your stuff, make sure it look good. Let's go on, let's go on to number two. Number two, okay. Number two, shine your boots. All right, I get sick and tired. I was, I'm walking around, somebody might have a nice, clean uniform, fresh to death, right? But they boots look all trash, right? Now I understand some rates, you know, your boots gonna get messed up. Like if you ABH, ABE, all of that type stuff. I don't know, AO maybe, I don't, I don't really know. Any rate can get this stuff messed up depending on what you do, right? But at the same time, man, if, you're, if you know your boots are gonna be messed up at work, Invest into another pair of boots. Now, it's easy. You can get a connect on the ship and you get yourself another pair of boots, right? Keep those boots pristine condition. Shine them up, have them to the side. Don't wear them to work, of course. You know what I'm saying? Wear the ones where your beat is to work. But when you're off work or you walk around with your uniform on, something like that, let's like say you're working and then you about to go to child or something like that, you, you go, or you're going to the base galley, right? You put on, you put on the freshies and then you walk to the galley. You know what I'm saying? Don't walk around in the crazy boots. Put some shine on them. Make sure they nice and the instructions say to be black and but man, you can shine them joints if you want to. Get them nice, nice and shiny. You know what I'm saying? Nice and shiny. You feel me? Let's go on to number three. Number three. You can't see this right here. Quals. Quals, 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 quals. Chaz, I got a story for you. I went to TAD, right? Temporary assigned duty, right? And it was downtime in the shop, and one of the LPO come up to me and say, hey man, um, it's, I know it's something you could be working on, a quality you be working on, right? You know, you got your 301 to 06? Yes, I do. You got your 307? Yep. You got your 308? Yep. 3M? Yep. Craftsman? Yep. Well, you good then. I'm trying to tell you, if you get your quality, people is going to stay off your back. Period. If you don't like being bothered, if you like to, you know, get your work done, do you, knock your quads out. I'm trying to tell you. When you got your quads done, people is going to leave you alone. Period. I mean, it's always more quads that you can get, but get your basic ones knocked out the way. Get, get everything, your shop, your end rate quads, your shop quads, you know, ship, I mean, like the ship quads that you might need, get, get them knocked out the way. So that way, when people come to you, they can't even, they can't even get on you about nothing because Cause you top notch, you top notch, you got your stuff handled. But what, what more can you say? You feel I me? Mean? So that's self-explanatory. Get your stuff knocked out the way. You got free time. You feel I me? Mean? Go learn about something. Go learn about your calls. You know, it takes signatures. So you learn about it, talk to them about it. Make sure they know that you know what's going on, how to do this, do the stuff. And they sign off on you. Ease like that. You route it up, boom, got the call. 
So make sure you have you on your qualifications because they make your eval look better, make you look better, and you're just gonna stand out around the rest of your peers. Cause not everybody is gonna get their calls. Everybody, not everybody is, is a grinder. Some people may wait for other people to tell them what they gotta get. No, get get it yourself. When we waiting on nobody else, man. Number four, number four. All right, military baron. Military baron will get you a long way in the Navy or just military advice, but anywhere in the military, right? It's gonna get you a long way. And when I say by military baron, I mean like, yes chief, no chief, you know, stuff like that, you know, say they rate like yes, AC1, AS1, you know, stuff like that. Uh, BM1. So make make sure you use military parent. No matter how cool cool y'all are, let's say let's say you and your chief cool. Like you feel me? Like y'all you feel like y'all the best of buttons still, man. Yes, no chief. You know stuff like that's gonna take you a long way because it's respect. Like who don't like to be respected? I don't know who don't like to be respected. Is that respect? They earned the um they earned that title, so why not respect them and give them that title? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not that hard. Even if you don't even like the person. Yes, and she, you know, stuff like that. And and your military baron may get you out of a lot of situations. Say so you about to get in trouble, but you over there. Yes, and she, uh, blame my last, you know, I didn't mean to do that. Yes, and she, you know, stuff like that. You you get yourself out of a lot of things, or other people may hear you, you may get yourself into a lot of things, so it may bring you opportunities that you might not have had if you were just like, yeah, nah, you know, stuff like that, to be professional. Be professional, keep military bearing at all times, and you be good. All right, number five, number five, baby. Okay, now this one is a very big one, all right? Number five. Okay. Perception is reality. Now, now say that to yourself. No, no, for real, for real, say, say that. Perception is reality. Right, so I apologize, I had to switch cameras. Uh, you know, the other camera died. Let me know if you like the quality on this one. I don't usually shoot with both cameras. Let me know if you like the quality on this one better over the other one, you know. But let's get into it. I switched to the DSLR. All right. All right, and I was talking about perception is reality, right? Yep, perception is reality. So what that means is, okay, let me give you a scenario. Let me give you a scenario, right? All right, say um, say it's five, like you and a couple of the people that you hang with at work, right? It's like five of y'all, and y'all all sitting somewhere Talking right. Let's just say y'all, y'all just talking. Y'all ain't doing no work, man. You know, taking a little break. Y'all talking, right? Now say, say your chief walk in, he just see all of y'all talking, right? He gonna be like, it don't matter how hard y'all was working before. If he didn't see that, and he comes in, and he just see all y'all sitting down talking, his perception is gonna be like, oh, they were working hard, and you know now they're just taking a break. No, he gonna be like, man, they not working, man. You know stuff like that, right? So if you or you get everybody to do like stuff like you, right? Say, uh, say y'all supposed to be swapping the floor or something like that, right? If y'all all hold the mop, hold the swab, and just let's say y'all still just talking, but if y'all all holding the swab, it's a whole nother perception when he come in. Now instead of coming in like, oh y'all not working, he could be like, hey, y'all doing too much talking, but I see he see that y'all swapping, you know stuff like that. So. Perception is a big thing. So just a little tips, man. If you if you talking or you doing something you ain't supposed to I ain't, I ain't trying to encourage you to do something you ain't supposed to be doing, but you know, everybody not gonna you're not gonna work the whole time that you at work, man. Like you need a break. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So always look like you're doing something. Perception is reality. You can hear it a lot in the military. Perception is reality. If even if you're not doing something, always look busy. Always look like you're doing something. That's the, that's all you gotta do. Always look like you're doing something. Instead of look, just like me sitting right here. Let's say, uh, let's say I'm just I'm just chilling like this, right? But as soon as I bring, you know, I'm probably not gonna be sitting down. If I bring this, bring the trash can over, and I sit here with the trash can, and I'm just talking talking to y'all like this. But I got the trash can in my hand like this, holding onto the bag. Somebody walk in. What you doing? Um, Changing the trash real quick, that's all. Oh, okay. Instead of me just sitting here empty handed and it's like, hey, what are you doing? Oh, I I just finished doing. Nah, man, always look busy, period. Always look busy. That's all I really 
got for being for the five tips to be successful in the Navy. Now, if y'all want some more tips, y'all want me to bring all some more, bring out the goodie bag, just let me know. You feel me? And if this was a heater video, but if you feel like this helped you, go ahead and drop the heat emoji in the bio, man. I mean, in, in the comment section. Drop the heat emoji in the comment section and spam up the 5K. 5K all in the comments. 5K, 5K, 5K. Let's just. I just like to thank y'all for the growth and the love that y'all be showing me, man. I just like to thank you for everything. You know, I wouldn't be here without y'all, without without God, you know. Well, without God, period, first. <laughs> yeah, man. I just, you know, what's meant to be gonna be. Thank y'all for watching and, you know, tuning. For all y'all that send me messages on Instagram, you know, my, um, y'all be able to see my DM. I got a lot of, I get a lot of DMs, man. So I be trying to get back to y'all in a timely manner, but if I don't, you know, I apologize for that. It's not like I feel too good that I can't reply to you. It's just really I'm trying to reply. It's just, I, you know, you know how it be sometimes. But thank y'all for tuning in. I pray that I have a blessed day. And keep it official. That's the new slogan. Stay official. Stay official like a referee with a whistle. Let's get it. Bye. <laughs>